Hey everybody, my name is Rummy. Today I want to talk about the IVSO keyboard case for the iPad Pro 2018 in the 12.9 inch size. I look for a few things in a case. That is that it's protective, that it has a keyboard. I like having a keyboard. It doesn't have to be attached, but this one is. Does it live up to a keyboard case? Is it a contender against the smart keyboard folio? Is it a cheaper option? Is it usable? Is it human? We have to talk about it. This is the IVSO keyboard case. It's about $55 on Amazon. I will link it down below. Ooh, smooth, okay. I don't know my materials. It's made out of a slightly, maybe rubbery, Apple called it a polyurethane material when they made this case for the iPad 2, like years ago. It's very similar to that. It has that Apple kind of texture to it. So it'll fold back. There's the honeycomb texture in here. Cool, love that. I will just say, I don't think that this table is dirty, but this case is getting dirty. And I'm, I'm genuinely surprised by that because this table is, has hardly been used. Sure, there's been some food on it, but there's a flap. You open it, it'll pop down, kind of do an origami fold and rest. This will not be in the way. You will have a kickstand at one, one angle. If you're just sitting at a desk and you need to do some typing, that might be all you need. Let's pop the iPad in. So I think the best plan of action is, I have had trouble with my screen protector in this case. I do believe it's the screen protector and not the case. So I'm just gonna be gentle and try to pinch that sweet screen protector under the case and it didn't work. Okay. And then your pencil can pop right in here. Very cool. Very nice. It holds it. It will not fall out of there. It will also not charge, but I'm not sure what these little holes are for. Are they for design? I've always been questioning that. Okay, so the sides are completely covered all the way around. Even where the pencil goes, it is covered. On the back, it does say wireless keyboard case. I would have preferred a logo. I would have preferred something other than wireless keyboard case, but I understand the need for branding. I understand it. And all the way around. The buttons are clicky. Sounds good, easy, easy to press, no problem. So far, so good, it protects the iPad has a kickstand, it has a keyboard. My screen protector is having a little bit of trouble with it, but I know that's the protector. Now, let's pair this thing. Let's pair it. I'm gonna switch it on, go over here, go to Bluetooth. It is connected, BT 3.0 keyboard. Me, perka, wizard worker. <laughs> okay. That's better. Um, key travel is good. It's very good. It's very keyboardy. It looks like uh, there. Are, stickers kind of printed on the keys. I don't know how long they'll last, but the keys do travel well. They are a little bit loud. I'll, I'll say that, that's okay. The function keys on this keyboard are awesome. We have a search button, a home button, brightness buttons, a virtual keyboard button, and copy paste buttons, which are really nice. Those are a little bit unusual. I haven't seen that on a lot of keyboards. Play pause, volume, lock button. They put a solid function row on this keyboard. I am happy with it. So this is more of a desk table kind of case, but you know, do your thing, do what you need to do. And if you just don't want the keyboard and it's just in the way, you can flop it back and that will magnetically snap there. You'll have some buttons on the back but it will be a flat surface. Very nice. 
and sleep wake. Let's test that. Sleep. What's going on here? And sleep wake. Very nice. The pencil. Can I get it out? Maybe I should use the, the designated spot. You can also press it out. There's a nifty press area right here. Now, the instructions do say that you should press the pencil into the keyboard slot. I've said before, I think a cutout would be just fine right there. I would be okay with just a cutout. Uh, if the pencil can charge, no problem, and I can just pop it on like that, no pressing. I would be fine with that. With that said, there is the keyboard slot. That is nice. I do like having two places to put the pencil. It's just kind of fun. It's kind of nifty. Okay. And lock. It didn't lock. Okay. Okay, we're having some trouble. Okay, so it took a few tries, but we got there. We got there. Okay. I don't know, again, what the fabric is. It's comfortable, though. It, it feels really nice on the hand. Yeah. Cool. The battery life is not great. 70 hours is, could be better when the keys to go has something like three months of battery juice in it from a single charge. And the bridge keyboard is supposed to have something like a year of charge in it. Something crazy like that. Overall, I give this case a seven or an eight. I think it would be useful to a lot of people for how protective it is, for how the keyboard is. And it's an all-in-one sort of encompassing package that you can bring with you wherever you go. It is nice to have it all in one and this one does it well. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Rummy Perka. I recommend that you check this out. If you're looking for a cheaper option at $55 for a keyboard case, this is definitely a great option worth looking at on Amazon. I will leave a link down below. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and I will see you soon. Okay.